Hello humans, welcome back to We Shave, let's do it. Got a, uh, well not a special razor, but a razor with a special unique feature that I have never seen or heard about before. The Yintal adjustable razor, long and heavy, have a uh, flip top and here is the special feature it has those green rubbery fins that you only see on cartridge razors I have never seen this before on a safety razor I've never heard about it I've never read about it uh, this is uh, this is the first at least for me, I think maybe this is it's the first of its kind. Never seen anything like this. So, uh, really excited to see what this can do. Uh, and I'm also excited to see how long this rubber will actually last. It's got those leathering channels on the bottom. So yeah, this uh, special one, I'm going to be using a Derby Usta, very sharp blade. There we go. I just just got it half an hour ago. So. The reveal seems to be somewhat okay, and it goes up to six. I don't know if you can see that, but uh, it's got a pretty good gap on six. So I'll also be using a new soap. Leah Stick Original. I tried their uh, creams, which is uh, decent, no problem, but I don't believe I've ever tried their soap. So, also a first. And I don't usually, I don't like really using these sticks. I grate them and then lay them in a bowl, but for today's day, I thought I will. Do something that you rarely see me do. not really good at putting this on since I never do it but it is what it is so and Way too much water in the brush. That was my bad. So, really thin leather today, but um, that's how it works. So, Gintal adjustable hybrid razor, you can call it. Can you hear that? Tons. Of audio feedback. And 
And so far it feels uh, it feels nice. I think the uh, the rubber fins are doing making a good difference here. saw there got caught Oi. but it is a really big head it's a really big head first pass and as always maybe the uh, this blade is no good for this way so we'll just have to wait and see all right, so now I'm going to dial it down uh, to a three. Oh, humongous difference. taking it off Of course, since the Derby Usta is very, very, very sharp. That, uh, of course, helps the racer. So to try with my other blades to see but I do feel irritation I do I do feel irritation all right so three and we're gonna pop it down to one there we go oh. and it seems to be uh, Lots of audio feedback on one side and not really any on the other, which is, you hear that? That is uh, a little bit concerning, I think. That means that the blade reveal isn't as even as it should be. And 
and there is definitely more of gap on one side. I mean, you can see the gap there, and there's hardly any there, so yeah, that's not good. why I have irritation. But the fin seems to work really nice. Oh. But as I say, the leather was very, very thin. So not optimal protection so that's that's uh, something you've got to take into consideration <coughs> excuse me but that was my fault since I'm not used to face leathering Still did the job. <clears throat> of course, that's a really shame because it's really, it's really hard to assess the razor when it's not functioning as it should. And there's that. There's that, I can can't feel anything on the other side. I can't hear anything. I can't feel anything. I'm sure it's still taking some off. definitely be contacting the seller to let him know that one of his razors slipped through quality control but it happens Just a little cut there on the coal saw. Ah. But that might uh, end up being in my favor actually, because now that I've cut it off, well, a lot of it anyway, it might not develop into a full big ass coal saw, so that's good. Ah. And the bleeding hair slowed down. <clears throat> I got a big ass spider out here. Drinking all the droplets around the sink. Oh! Uh, well... Uh, that was that. Didn't go as well as I'd hoped, but uh, I did get the clear sense that those things 
uh, those rubber fins they uh, they they protect the skin so apart from that one no nicks no cuts a little bit of irritation of course but yeah what are you gonna do Leah it did great way too thin for my liking so but uh, I'm sure it will perform just great once I get my uh, my preferred density so check it again there's the gap on one side and there's just, there's no gap there at all so but uh, heavy long rays are very very special and unique they took something from the cart cartridge racers and put it on a safety racer not a bad idea not a bad idea actually <clears throat> so yeah that was that that was the Yintal adjustable razor interesting interesting idea I like it uh, check it out on Ali not very expensive uh, but be aware that this could end up happening to you but if it does you'll just have to contact the seller and uh, has to get a refund or we send a new razor. So something, some things just slip through quality, quality control. That's just the way it is. Uh, no matter how hard we try, there's always something that will slip through the cracks. All right, that's it, my friends. Thank you for watching this week's weekly shave. I'll be back again next week with another shave. Until then, you know what to do.